Hello everybody, it's Heather from Heather's Boo World, and today I am showing you how to make a Beanie Boo music video. And this video was a special request by my Beanie Boos, and I'm very happy to make it for her. Without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Prepping for the music video. The first thing you want to do is clean out a space for you to film in. You can put back all the stuff once you're done filming. Now, a little disclaimer. There are multiple ways to get the song you want, but this is the way that I do it. So open the YouTube app and search up the song you want. I chose Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo. Next, this is very important. You want to screen record or download the video that you want. You can even film it from another device. After you choose your music, you have to choose the Beanie Boos you're going to choose for your video. You want to choose your main character slash main characters, your secondary characters, I have two, and background characters, if any. I don't have any. Step two, background. After you've picked your music and cast your characters, you're then going to need to work on background. You can film outside, like in my Heather video. Or you can film inside and use backgrounds, like in my I Don't Want to Live Forever music video. What is happening to me? I don't want to live forever. Now, if you're filming inside and don't have any backgrounds, that's okay. Because if you want nice scenery, then you can film at a window. Or you can just film on your bed if you don't really care about backgrounds. I tend to use multiple places for mine. After you've got your spot chosen for your first scene, you can now discuss props. Now, props can be anything. They can be already made stuff, to stuff that you can make into props, regular household items, stationary items, etc. To props that you can make yourself. There's an endless possibility because there are just so many things that you can use for your props and there are so many songs that you can use so many different stuff for. Step three, filming. Okay, you have your beanie boo picked out, you have your song picked out, you have your whole thing set up. Now to film. There's going to be a bunch of different scenes that you're gonna have to take. So you wanna take it one line at a time. Step four, editing. So the editor that I use is CapCut, so open that and press new project. Once you do that, just import all your scenes. This video had 20. The next thing you want to do is import your audio. You can do this in multiple different ways. Hit the plus on the right side of your screen and pick the video with the screen recording of your music on it. Then you want to scroll until you see extract audio and click that. This takes just the audio from your video and discards the video. Drag it to where you want and bam, you have your first option. For your second option, you're going to hit voiceover and then you can have another device and play your song on that. Warning, you might get some background noise on this, but you are getting your song. And now for transitions. Transitions may shorten up your video, but they make it look really cool. CapCut has tons and tons and tons of absolutely free options. Now, if you're wondering how I get all the glitter and stuff for my video, it's effects. Effects kind of tie a video together. Like with transitions, CapCut has tons and tons of free ones. You can see me here testing out a couple until I find one that I like. I suggest bling or mood. Then, of course, I have to add my intro. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this helped. Bye, have a bootastic day. Make sure to like and subscribe.